Hey guys, Taraku here. Now, first off, this wouldn't be a raid video if we didn't start off with an offer, right? Like, as soon as you jump in a raid, you're guaranteed to have an offer pop up, so get used to this. Now, however, this is actually a pretty good offer. On my main account, I may actually get this one. Granted, it's uh, about four times the price of this one over here, but it is a good offer. Energy is definitely the thing I like to buy the most of. But this energy, is, this this video is not about, oh, that's actually a good offer too. Two legendary books for 10 bucks. All right. Stop throwing these offers at me. See, this account has been free to play for a long time. No money spent whatsoever. And then you get all the amazing offers. But this account, this video is not about deals and offers. Instead, this video is going to be about how to join a clan, where to join, and what you want to look for when you're going to be fighting the clan boss and when you're in a clan in general. Now, I've made a video like this in the past, kind of touching on this, but I want to go through a few different things on this video. Now, first off, Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, glad to have you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy this video, if you don't, don't worry about it. Maybe I'll make some better content down the road for you. Now, I wanna to touch on joining our Discord, joining a clan in general, how to do that, because I have had some questions about how to join a clan in general, and then just an early game clan boss guide. Now, I'm gonna to touch on all this pretty quick, but I wanna to touch on the main things that I have, that I see people having issues with. First off, I want to talk about how to join uh, the Coliseum, my Taraku stream, Discord channel so that you can stay in the loop and how this relates specifically to the clans because the Discord does have a few special features for clans specifically. Now, I did create a brand new Discord account to show you guys exactly how to do this. So first off, you probably have some servers over here, but if not, go ahead and hit add server or you can just click the link down below in the description or in the comment section the discord link and it'll automatically do this process for you but if you just want to do it manually you can do this as well so the discord server is this just some randomly generated characters vc capital c four ar nine capital v hit join and when you join it's going to take you into the server welcome page okay so when you first get here you're not going to see anything whatsoever over here you can read through this, and I recommend reading through it. It just kind of gives you a breakdown of the rules. But when you accept this, it's not going to change anything. And it, it explains kind of what I'm explaining right here in this section. So if you are wondering but don't want to go back in the video and watch, just check this out, read through it. But then whenever you get through reading this, just click the OK button, and then you'll see everything unlocks. So you can see up here announcements. So if anything important that I believe is happening in the game, this is where I announce stuff. Self-promotion channel. If you're a streamer or whatever, you can promote yourself there. General chat is where a lot of people are active at. Account questions, obviously a bunch of this is self-explanatory. We have a raid resources and information section, which kind of goes over stuff like the uh, the speed you need for the clan boss, the accuracy you need for the clan boss, and anything that I find players would possibly find valuable, I post in there. Now we have the raid dungeons and clan boss and arena section, which is, well, exactly what it says it is. Um, dungeons, arena, clan boss, and then we got a trophy room where Vinny likes to flex his 36 million Ultra Nightmare damage. So if you want to flex your damage, come on, on, come on in and flex your damage. You're welcome to. And then the clan information section. This is where you're probably going to be looking if you're coming in to join a clan. So the clan rules, definitely check this out. The biggest things is after three days of acti inactivity, uh, without notifying anybody, you get removed, which is pretty typical in the clans. Currently, the first four clans in the cluster, so the Coliseum 1, 2, 3, and 4, are all pushing clans, and anything after that, so currently 5 through 8 at the time of this video, are just doing easy and normal clan boss. Now, we actually have specific channels for each individual clan. Now, how do you get into those specific channels? Well, you go into the clan roles importance section, okay? So say... I wanted to join clan seven, for example, all right? So there's nothing here right now, but I click seven, and then it unlocks raid individual clan chats. Now, when I click into seven, it'll show all the clan chat that's going on in clan seven, but if I change it to clan six, you'll see right here that that changed to six, open up six as well. Now, this you can remove your reaction, and it just adds you to the different channels. So if you have multiple, ch uh, multiple accounts, inside of the Coliseum clans. You can just add in yourself into a few of these clan chats. So there's nothing going on, especially special in any of these clan chats. I just have this so that you're not gonna be seeing all the clan messages from every clan because nobody likes to be bombarded with notifications from Discord for so that doesn't pertain or relate to you. 
clan info. This is where it goes over what the damage minimums for each one of our clans are. With that said, we are currently recruiting for Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare. Well, actually, we're recruiting for any clan boss level whatsoever. So if you want to join a clan that is active, that is killing the clan boss, check out the Discord. Go ahead and join. Just apply in the, uh, the clan application section. Just say where you're at, what you're hidden. If you're wanting to join one of the one through four clans, but if you want to join anything else, just go ahead and search it up in the clans, which I'll show you in just a second, and just go ahead and join. So that's how that works. Ch uh, clans one through four, you have to be on the Discord. You don't necessarily have to be active, but we do want you in the Discord. This this channel doesn't matter. This channel's gonna be gone soon. And then the clan boss damage is just some screenshots of the clan boss damage and just people in general is doing clan boss damage. But the biggest things to worry about is the clan role is important and just to join your clan chat. So. That's just a little bit idea of how I have the clan structure. So if you are looking for a clan to join that is active, definitely check out the Discord, do those steps that I mentioned, and go ahead and get in a clan. Now, part two, what I want to go over is joining a clan. So I've had this question a few times, but to join a clan, it's super simple. You just go down here to the clans button. I think this opens up at like level 10, maybe, I'm not sure. But if you're brand, brand new to the game, you probably won't see this clan button, I don't think. So if you're not seeing it, that's why. Then just go up here and type in the Coliseum. I don't even know how to own clan name. Uh, search it maybe. The Colo. Okay, yeah, the Coliseum. There you go. All right. So here you can see we have the Coliseum two, three, and four. All of these are apply to join, like I mentioned. Go down here. This is clan one. Also apply to join. We have a few others that are getting close to being max on members, so they also are apply to join. But like I said, if you're a brand new player and you want to kill the easy or normal clan boss, feel free to join any of these clans between oh, any of the clans between five and eight that are open. They have space and you're, they're open to join. So not the apply to join. You may not get accepted into that one. But if you want to make sure you get accepted, go to the discord, check that out, jump right in. Now, if you're in any of the ranges from like you actually want to push on the clan boss and you're doing levels above easy and normal join the discord post your damage let us know what you're hitting and then we'll get you into the proper clan for where you're at or if you have questions about what you're doing where you're going what you should be hitting for the clan boss definitely join the discord a ton of people more than happy to help they're on all the time i'm on pretty often so definitely join that we can get you situated sorted and join the right clan now the final part of the video i want to go over the early game clan boss guide so when you first start the game, you're not gonna have a ton of different champions. Now this account is not gonna be the best thing to show you on it. So I'm gonna jump over to my other account to better show you about the clan boss and how my thought process was whenever I was gearing up for the clan boss. All right guys, so we're jumping back into my other account that's got a little bit more progression on it. I'm also drinking a new energy drink called, it's rain, it's called Red Dragon. I don't know what I feel about it, but they had a jalapeno strawberry, I think it was. I don't know guys, anybody's ever tried that? Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Seems a little, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna try that. Jalapeno plus energy plus strawberry. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. This Red Dragon one's pretty good though. But besides energy drinks, clan boss. When you first start the game, you're gonna have your starter champion, okay? It's, hopefully it was Kale. If it's not Kale, it's not a huge deal. But when you first start, your focus should not be building a team specifically for the clan boss. First off, you should take your starter champion to 60 as soon as possible. Your starter champion, if it's Kale, is gonna have poisons. They're gonna bring quite a bit of damage to the clan boss. Getting them to 60, getting their masteries fully unlocked super quick or as quickly as you can will 100% allow you to one key, which one key means attacking the clan boss one time, you use one key, and then you get the top chest for whatever clan boss level that is. When you get your first champion to level 60, You'll be able to one key the clan boss without a doubt on easy and you'll pr possibly be able to even do it on hard or normal normal depending on who you brought and who your assistant your champions beside them are now my thought process whenever i first start taking an account and progressing through the game is okay the most important thing in the game is getting more level 60 champions getting more level 60s getting them fully ascended getting their masteries okay the beginning of the game you do not need high level high level gear the beginning of the game you can literally just farm the speed stage the lifestyle stage farm for the boots chest gloves and then the other pieces as you need 
These ones are the most important main stats that you need. Same thing with the lifestyle stage, depending on which champions you have. But farm a lot of that. You don't need to touch the dungeons. But what I'm thinking about constantly is how can I build a team that's going to do very well in dragons? The reason why I say dragons with dragons lair is because dragons lair is probably one of, is probably the easiest dungeon but the most important dungeon as far as progression goes because it drops speed lifesteal accuracy it drops a lot of really good gear sets and we'll see what here what i get it doesn't take me too long but as you're building up your dragon's team to progress you're actually building a pretty good clan boss team i mean because a dragon's team like for example here if i brought this team onto the clan boss it wouldn't be optimal but i do have a good support champion I do have a d good decrease attack and decrease defense champion. I do have a good poisoner. And the other two champions are kind of just, they do a little bit of damage. But without a doubt, I would do decent on early stages of clan boss. Easy clan boss, no problem. Normal clan boss, no problem. Even hard, I could probably one key it with just these champions. Granted, they do have good gear, but the abilities that they bring to the clan boss are very, very good. And your focus should be on building a dragon's team that also fits in the clan boss team. Now, once you have a dragon's team built and you're doing dragon 20, preferably, dragon 16 is the lowest that I like to farm. The reason why is because dragon 16 stops dropping mystery shards and brews and you only get four to six star items. 20 is what's, is what's ideal to farm, but if you're not able to do that, 16 is perfectly fine. With that said though, as you're building a dragon team, you can put it on your clan boss. Once you have a really good team built, so you're doing Dragon 20, you can start to level up some more champions to level 60, 6 star, fully mastery, and swap them into your clan boss team as you progress. That's exactly what I'm doing right now on this account, to be honest, because for a while, I was using Coldheart on my clan boss team, but that's because I only had, I think, 5 or 6 level 60s, and she just fit. But now that I have a consistent Dragon team, which was my main focus, I took Coldheart out of the team and swapped her for, I think, Dreg, because I focused on getting him up to level 60 right as soon as I could. As soon as I had this on the farm, on auto, and everything was good. Then I started taking champions up who would fit on the clan boss or the clan boss plus fire knight, for example. But definitely, you want to focus on dragon. Make sure you do your clan boss hits. Now, I talked about how to... Look, we actually got a pretty good piece of gear. Now, I talked about how to gear up and kind of... Not gear up necessarily, but build a team early game for clan boss there's not a whole lot of team building that really goes on i mean you don't have to have the best champions in order to do good on the easy and normal clan boss it literally just comes down to your champions level 60 six star and fully mastered you have two champions fully mastered and you'll be pushing this one key on normal no problem now with that said i want to touch on one last thing i just realized i want to touch on the clan boss how important the rewards are and what kind of makes up what you should be doing, what you should be attacking. So each one of these levels of clan boss has a set amount of HP, obviously. Whenever it gets to 50% HP, it switches from void affinity to either force, magic, or spirit affinity. Each one does different abilities and you gotta kind of fight a little bit differently. Some you'll be weak on, some you'll be strong on. Whenever you go to this little chest, it gives a breakdown of the damage on how much damage you have to do in order to earn each level of chest. Now this is across all the keys you spend, whether you spend one key, which is your currency to fight the clan boss, or you spend 200 keys, it doesn't matter how many you spend, if your total damage falls within this bracket, that's what chest you get. Now, whenever you're trying for the chest, you obviously want to try for the highest chest possible. If your clan kills the clan boss, you get two chests. If your clan does not kill the clan boss, you only get one chest for whichever damage range you were in. Now. As you move up, the damage gets higher and higher. Now let's look at my damage on Nightmare. So you'll see that I did 34.35 million damage. In order to get the top chest, I need to do 39 million damage. So right now, I fall right in this bracket. So I wanna make sure that I use one more attack before the end of the day, so I can make sure that I get this top chest because that's definitely the most value. Now, talking about Vinny, I talked about him earlier in the Discord. Talking about him again, you'll see that he attacked, oh, he typically attacked, okay, he did, he did attack Nightmare used one key, did 43 million damage. So he gets, he gets the top chest from just using one key. Perfect. So then what he does is he takes his other ch keys and spins them on Ultra Nightmare. This means that he can now get the top chest here. He'll only get one, but then he'll get two chests on Nightmare. Right now, if the day just stopped though, he would only get one chest on Nightmare, 
but our clan will kill Nightmare today, no problem. So he will get two chests and then one chest. You always want to try to get two chests wherever possible. And that's why it's so crucial to have a clan that is doing the clan boss, killing the clan boss each and every day because you can earn things like void shards, ancient shards, sacred shards, legendary books, epic books, rare books. You can earn so much good stuff that typically costs money. And at this higher level, you can even earn good gear. Let me show you some of the gear that you can get. The immortal and cruel gear. Immortal gear uh, increases your HP by 15% and it, and it heals by 3% every turn. You can get five star pieces of gear, even six star pieces later on, I believe. And then the cruel gear increases your attack by 15% and ignores 5% of enemy defense. These pieces are excellent pieces, especially when you're low level. They could be the difference between surviving or not surviving. And they're definitely good because, I mean, you'll get a ton of options. Every day you'll get two pieces most likely because gear drops so frequently. But the biggest thing is probably the shards. And you get a little bit of gems as well. So having a clan that's very active is super crucial. Now, the reason why I mentioned earlier, I first started this video off with joining the Discord. And the reason why Discord is so important is because the clan chat inside of Raid is pretty terrible. You really don't know what's going on. Messages get deleted. Deleted messages get swapped around and it's kind of just a mess to communicate so discord allows for a very easy communication route if you're ready to move up to a different level clan just send a message in discord we'll get you moved up as soon as possible if your damage is not quite where it should be we can get you moved down to a clan that better fits you if you have to go for three days and you don't want to get removed from the clan post in the discord as well because if you post it in the clan chat it's a very high likelihood that it will not get read will not get noticed and you may get removed if you've been inactive but with that said guys i hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it helps you out hopefully it gives you a little bit of idea what to do early in the game in the, in the clans and the clan boss how to fight just overall in general early game like i said biggest thing is just getting more level 60s focusing on dragon using your dragon team for the clan boss it'll do very well poisoners do a ton of damage to the clan boss that's why kale is so great bring poisoners if possible if it's not possible, you can get away with it up until probably hard clan boss. Hard clan boss is when you have to kind of start incorporating a few champions who are actually good on the clan boss. And I have, I'm have i interested if you guys want me to make videos about that down the road, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. But there's a ton of videos already out there about the clan boss, how to optimize your strategy. So feel free to check those out as well. Like I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord, get connected with the clans, kill the clan boss, and guys, let's progress together. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day.